Good evening. Today, I'm going to conduct a thought experiment. Are you ready? Now, I'm not going to tell you which is better between uh, virtual learning and traditional school. Instead, I'm going to show you a different perspective. So, what exactly is learning? As per definition, learning is knowledge acquired through experience. I asked my friends, what is your favorite memory in school? And they told me it was eating lunch with their friends or hanging out at recess and meeting their friends for the first time. So as you can see, school is a lot about bonding, which I think is important. However, no one who I asked associated learning with school. Some of the greatest thinkers of our time actually didn't attend traditional school, such as Thomas Alva Edison, the inventor of the light bulb. He was homeschooled by his mother. Now, I'm going to tell you the benefits of traditional school, such as more focus and structure, which I think is essential if you want your child to have a good education. Another important thing is social interactions. In in-person school, you get to socially interact with your friends. However, did you know that 264 million kids all around the world don't have an education because there are certain underdeveloped countries that don't have the basic infrastructure to have a school or maybe they just can't afford it but virtual learning allows you to follow your passion and do and learn whatever you want whenever you want and at a time that's comfortable for you unfortunately virtual school is not all gravy you don't get the social interaction that traditional school provides. <clears throat> but maybe, maybe we're looking at it the wrong way. Because I see the two worlds colliding. I see an opportunity for us to grow and evolve. If I said a hundred years ago that we could set foot on the moon, you would either laugh at me or call me crazy. But now I want to transport you to a world where you can learn whatever you want using technology. You can immerse yourself in a classroom and interact with students and teachers using virtual reality, using augmented reality. That's what I see in the future of learning. And now I ask, what does learning look like in the future for you? Thank you for your time.